Okay, this is another day. This will be part 11, 12, 13, something like that. Probably getting these numbers mixed up, but uh, bear with me. I um, left here last night wondering about several things and pretty sure I had some answers. But I needed to dig this part out to find out if the, uh, if I had, you know, more of this void stuff that I got right there and I didn't have a lot. I do have, however, three holes right there, three screw holes. I have no idea what those are for, but I don't have a lot of fiberglass failures. Uh, you know, it's not as good as it could be elsewhere, but it's not as bad as it is over here. And I dug this out and I bought a Dremel and a Dremel and a vacuum cleaner and some wood chisels and you can dig some wood out. Now, um, I did not have a lot of rot. I had a little bit right down in that corner right there. But for the uh, most part, it was sealed. And you see right here, that wood stops. Uh, it was a board right here and that's where it stops. This wood here is this board going this way. So, up here, I haven't dug this out yet, but I'm pretty sure these boards stop right here. If there is wood under here on the back side, going down that way, I was concerned about that being dark in there. Um, I don't know it yet. I don't believe it's those boards, though. I believe they stop right there. So, I'm going to dig those out next to find out if they stop right there. If they, in fact, stop right there... The odds that I'm doing anything down there is less, but I may still be taking that out. I just, uh, it may be wood under there. There may be wood filler like up here, just below that joint. So, that all being said, that's how far I got today. And I'm going to work on the next one and uh, keep answering questions. That's all I'm doing at this point. This will not stay like this when it comes time to put it back together. I'll grind all that out down to the surface. I'm also going to cut these boards back, the stringer boards back, and see how solid this is in here and plan on putting one inch boards in behind there before I pookie it all back together. But um, never owned a Dremel before today, and I can tell you it was money well spent. I got the corded one. I actually did not get a Dremel. I got a Craftsman, but it's the same thing as a Dremel. I found it in a pawn shop while I was doing my laundry. And, uh, by golly, I'll tell you what, um, that little bit that came in a kit that I bought at, uh, Home of the Economy did the trick. Um, I, uh, bought a sanding bit, and I'm not gonna go through this whole boat with it, but anytime I need precision and accuracy, I didn't want to take my multi tool and dig into the hole. I wanted to know where the wood stopped and that's what I used that Dremel for was to cut a hole through the board that was laying in here. Even though I cut it here, I didn't know how deep it went and I didn't want to go too deep. So I used that Dremel tool to gauge that to, before I got out the hammer and chisel and, and dug the rest of it out and, and cleaned it up. But um, I like my Dremel tool. I like my vacuum cleaners. Uh, things are working pretty good. I uh, went and bought a pair of coveralls last night because I got tired of my arms itching and these rubber gloves that I've had around here forever are finally getting some use and uh, the only thing that you know I'm not losing control of a lot of fiberglass the only thing I was leaving here itchy with was my hands and my forearms and I think I'm pretty well on top of that no more than what I'm letting get away from me in this tear out. But um, if I actually got a grinder out and went crazy, I'd put the Tyvek back on. And I don't know if I ever will get the grinder out and go crazy, although I see a lot of people do that. I think as long as I've got this boat and it's my boat and I can take my time with it and I've got this shop to work in it, um, I will probably try to keep this as mess-free as humanly possible from start to finish. But uh, I don't know. I might get impatient and get the grinder out and go crazy one day. Thanks. Have a great day.